Yeah, this is the bull band 215, y'all. I mean, and I'm like, pushing it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? I said, I'm going to the light, Rick. I said, I don't but you got to let me get the out. You got to let me get the shot. You got to be attentional with the shots. safety in my opinion, but he ended up playing receiver. You know, he played like safety in a couple of, uh, like our nickel pack and stuff like that, but he was one of the first players that I got to see. Uh, number one, grow up, mature, have children, you know, make mistakes, bounce back from them, and you know, like really like go through the whole gambit of growing up, and now to see where he's at today, being able to come full circle and talk to my players. You know, you're talking about a former player being able to talk to players that's under me now about his journey. All right. So uh, without further ado, I'll pass it over to my guy, Manny. Um, he's going to tell you a little bit about his story, his come up, what he does now, and just give y'all a little bit of game as y'all learn how to navigate through life. All right. So clap it up for uh, Manny. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? You all right? Yeah, yeah. Man, first of all, I want to you know, thank y'all just giving the time, like, to, uh, you know, sit down, come to us, like, and uh, talk to me. You saying? Definitely shout out to uh, Coach Dad and the whole uh, Emotech staff. Um, you know, like, Coach Dad, you know, they, like, made the role. You know, you know y'all DBs. I used to be cooking as DBs back in the day, and you know, I used to, used to hate me for that, you feel me? But, uh, no, you know, Coach Dad definitely is a, uh, you know, like a, um, a great guy, you feel me? Um, I think he's serious about his work, always has been a great leader. Um, and just like he's saying, like he's seen me mature and my own self, I also watch him you know, mature in his own rights. So, you mean, make sure I show him some love too. And with, with, you know, the position that he's at, you feel me? I said, his first year coaching was my team. So, you know, to see him at, you know, be the head coach of one of the top teams in the country. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a major piece. So, show, show Coach Dad some more too, man. <laughs> no, but yeah, though, but yeah, though. Um, you know what? So, like, yeah, though. Um, I'm going to start here for real, for like, you know, a lot of people, they be wanting me to talk and more so, like, talk to the youth about how they could be like me in a sense, you feel me? And, you know, the whole time I'm like thinking about like, man, how I'm going, like what I'm going to talk about, you feel me? Like what, how I'm going to give it to our man, to the coaches, I'm like, man, what's the team like? I'm like, yeah, they, you know, they're a good group of kids, man. They play around a little too much, than they're a little younger than they So, you know, I'm going to take the, the aspect to really talk to y'all about like how to not mimic the mistakes. Like, basically, I did not be like me, you know what I'm saying? So like Coach Dad said, like, you know, like, his first year coaching me was at Martin Luther King, you feel me? But I want to take it, the year before that, I was right here in this school with y'all, with Albie, you know what I'm saying? With DJ Moore, playing on the team with these guys. At this time, I'm not really taking the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand that y'all being on this team is an opportunity for y'all to do something with y'all life. You know what I'm Opportunities, we got to respect opportunities because we don't respect opportunities. They come, they, they go away real fast. And some of them take a very long time to come back. Some of them you may never see again. You know what I'm saying? My last, and I'm going to tell you how important that is. When I went here, 
in my own right, I felt I was one of the best receivers on the team. You feel me? And respects to DJ Moore and, you know, his wonderfulness. And he always been a great player. We played each other since Little League on the band. But I felt like, man, man, I should have been on varsity. They ain't, give, they ain't never give me a call. But when I look at it, I didn't take heed to the lesson. I didn't take heed to the opportunity. You wanna know why? I was caught up with my friends. I ain't wanna go lift weights. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, y'all see me? I've been this size since, since you met me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't take heed to the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I ain't take the advice to the coach and they like, yo, get in the weight room, get in the weight room. I didn't ask questions. But I look back now, you know, I ain't like going to the weight room because I ain't really know how to lift. They like lift 225. You know, when you when you bench it, you're supposed to like thrust it and throw it, right? You're supposed to throw it, let the velocity do what it got to do and help you out. I'm trying to control the weight all the way through. I'm like, man, it's too hard. Whole time my technique wrong. But I ain't take advantage of the opportunity. Again, then take advantage of the opportunity to ask a question and get the help that I needed. So in turn, I, did, I, I was skipping, man, I'm, I ain't. I catch up with me on the field, man. These niggas can't stick me anyway. You know what I'm saying? They can't stick me anyway. But it's, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. And in turn, I mean, like, 11 by 11th grade year, you know, I don't know if y'all seen our documentary, We Could Be King. We won the first ever championship for Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? Next year, I'm coming up. Uh, my man, Delaney Hart, you know, he was like 6'3, like 6'3'2, son, in high school. He went down to New Mexico. It's looking at me to be the guy. Listen to how important missing the opportunity is and not taking advantage of what's going on right now and the resources that y'all got. The opportunity that y'all got to even be here and pursue <clears throat> your dreams. We down, we playing Coastville. We playing Coastville. I scored the first touchdown for the team from where we rolling. They got probably like, we like 21-7 or something like that. So I'm going that. I'm lining the ball up all game. Uh, Nas Boykin, he went here too. I don't know if y'all know he was the quarterback here too. It's, I was his first receiver. You feel me? I'm like, look, hey Nas, we had a little jump. We used to go, ee! Whenever he made that call, come on, bro. Throw that jump. You feel me? <laughs> Throw it. You know what I'm saying? So I called my own number. I remember the play like it was yesterday. We down back on the end zone. Ball on the two yard line. I can break it down to you. I'm like, look, bro, I've been lying this boy. Listen, I'm going to give him my ball. I'm going to come into the store, bro. I got you. Come on. Go. Linebacker come in. Dom, he in, he in, he in, uh, he, he, he in the backfield. He don't check. He don't check the linebacker. Now, I cook, boy. I do what I got to do. Come on. Come on. Woo, come on. Let's get it. We running. Now, Nas, he got to throw off his back foot. He go up, he throw the ball. I go out and lost, but I catch it and all that. Last catch of my career. Came down on my knee. These little legs, it didn't hold up. It was better than ball. I still talk to ball. They was like, listen. And they had a, uh, they star cornerback was getting recruited to Temple. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, bro, we was about to make that switch. I couldn't do nothing with you. These guys, I couldn't do nothing with you. But it didn't matter. You know why? I didn't take advantage of the opportunity. I didn't take advantage of the opportunity to take these workouts serious. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, like now what I do in my, my life, I build brands. I got my own brand, 215 Pearl, got a community organization. And, you know, I do a lot of marketing branding for a lot of brands that you may see throughout the city. You know, one of the biggest being Top Dog Law. You feel me? With that, with, with, with that, one thing I do is I study the greats. One thing I learned I had to really study the legends. If I want to be great, I got, I got to learn what the greats do. You know what I'm saying? And then studying their ways, in my own right, I feel success in, in, a, in a new path in my life. But for where y'all at right now, I want y'all to study the greats. Take this advice that I'm giving y'all and studying the greats. I watched DJ Moore since we were kids. I watched Dondre Swift since. His ninth grade year at uh, St. Joe's Prep. You know what I'm saying? One thing I could tell you about these boys, they ate, ate and slept football. My only memory of these boys is football. So we talking about the level. Raise your hand, who, who want to go to the league? Who want to go to the league? 
Keep your hand up if you feel like you're giving your 100% all to go to the lead. Let's see who's going to be honest. Let's see who's going to be honest. These guys, I, I'm talking about my only memory of them is, y'all put your hands down. My only memory of them is football. Right, they was working out, uh, off season, training. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't remember seeing these boys at parties. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember seeing these boys, you know, doing nothing outside of football. But look at where they at. DJ Moore, one of the highest paid receivers in the game. Went to the same school. Went to the same school. Don J. Swift, hell of a career, he's still going. He, on the, he in Philly now. You feel me? I'm excited for the season. You know what I'm saying? But my message to y'all, y'all got to want it. If you put your hand down, and regardless if you put your hand down, if you know in your heart, when I ask you that question, if you're giving yourself 100%, you know in your heart that you're not, it's up to you. It's up to you. That's the lesson I had to learn early. You know what I'm saying? I was about like, I want to say 1920. 1920, I found damn my shooter, she's pregnant. Dang, I got a young. Man. First thing I got told, yo, it's not about you no more. It's not about you no more. You know how bad I wish I would have got told that earlier? You know how bad I would have I, I would have wished I would have heard that it's not about me earlier? Y'all go to the league. Yeah, y'all gonna have some cheese, but who else like going to get affected? Y'all go to the league, who else like going to get affected? Your mom, right? Raise your hand, you want to you get your mom a good credit. You want to take care of your family and all that. Everybody hand raised. These same things got to get taken into consideration when we have practice. These same things got to get taken into consideration when we in a classroom. Same thing I get took into consideration when we out of here and we outside in the streets. So easy. It's so easy to go left or right. It's so easy to go left or right. So easy to go left or right. I'm gonna tell you how easy it is. And I really don't. I really don't share this story, but I know the vibe of the city. I understand what's going on right now. And I don't want y'all to make, and this son, Coach Earl, he used to coach here. He told me something when, you know, my, one of my first years playing football lowly, he said, don't make a mistake when you're 15, 16. That's going to affect you for the rest of your life. Split second. Split second. It's so easy to go left or right. Raise your hand if you know who Chai Glizzy is. You ever heard of that name? Raise your hand if you ever heard of Saudi. Who knows who Saudi is? Trap Street. Y'all know, know the story between them. All of the stuff... Uh, I'm telling you, majority of the stuff that's going on in the city, y'all don't even did. Y'all don't even did. When I was in high school, it started from a rumble. I remember telling niggas, yo, what's going to come after that? Y'all better chill. That was always my job. I ain't never really liked to argue with niggas. All right, what's going to come after us arguing? We might as well just get to that step. And then if we can't come, we might as well get there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas didn't take advantage of the opportunity. Chai Glizzy, Puck could tell you. He played for Puck. He was a great football player. Saudi was a good rapper. Didn't take advantage of the opportunity. Didn't take advantage of the opportunity. Letting stuff outside of their craft pull them away. Y'all can't make that mistake. Can't nobody make the decision for none of y'all but y'all. Can't nobody get in your body and say, yo, I'm going to practice. Can't nobody get in your body when niggas say your phone, they talking about the ops and all that, and you indulging it. Can't nobody make you say, no, bro, I'm cool. I ain't, I ain't even. You know how cool it is to be like, no, I'm doing this. Y'all doing that? I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? 
I just made a post. When I first put up this, me made this meme with Top Dog Low, everybody was laughing. Everybody thought, man, he telling. He worked, they don't even know the whole story. They cooked me in the comments. They cooked me in the comments. I made a decision for myself. I know what it is. I'm, I'm, I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody out this jump. My self work don't, don't, it's not in the hands of nobody. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage of the opportunity. Don't get sucked in out this joint. Don't get sucked in out this joint. Very, I'm talking about, I knew that situation was real, and, and I knew y'all was going to raise your hands. You want to know why? I knew y'all was going to raise your hands. When Chad died, it was a little girl that I know her sister, that when he died, Mind you, when it started, she was probably about 11. She's probably about 11. And she asked a question that was so spot on to the beat. So spot on. Until I asked him, like, dang, did such and such kill him? I said, dang, that joint skipped a generation. That joint skipped a generation. That joint, I was in y'all. Niggas was rumbling. Niggas was rumbling in school. I remember that. I remember hotel parties running. I remember all that. It skipped the generation. Y'all can't get sucked in. Y'all got a hell of an opportunity right now. A hell of an opportunity right now. Don't disrespect it. It's going to blow you by. It's going to blow you by. Raise your hand if you're in ninth grade. Where the ninth grade is at? Let me see the 10th grade. 10th grade. Juniors. Seniors. Well, tell me who you are. All right, why, why? So we got, a, we got a pretty young team for the most part, right? I got a challenge for y'all. Who gonna step up and be the leader? The captain of the team and the leader is not necessarily the person that's scoring the most touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? That's not necessary. AJ Brown, hell of a player, right? You don't gotta see on his chest. The captain, the leaders of the team, first person in the locker room, last person to leave. First person in the locker room, last one to leave. Who gonna step up and be vocal? Hold each other accountable. What y'all got right now is brotherhood. Y'all got brotherhood, y'all gotta understand. Get, forget the forget the sports. Y'all got an opportunity of brotherhood. We so divided as people from social media, politics in the street, whatever. We so divided. Oh, y'all together, y'all come together every day faithfully. Who gonna step up and hold their brother accountable? We see them saying, no, bro, come on. And understand, you can't get it, you can't get that advice if you ain't if you ain't doing it yourself. I'll share a story with you with that. <laughs> he don't even understand how important this moment was for me. They grind us up. Yo, y'all ain't y'all ain't coming, why y'all ain't in practice? Niggas coming late. So I'm like, I'm like, I stand, I'm like, yeah, man, we gotta be at practice and all that. Yeah, I'm like, man, he shut up. Like you just was late the other day. You know why? Wasn't respect the opportunity. No, I was, I was in the studio. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't respecting the opportunity. Who gonna step up and be a leader? And understand, we're in a, being a leader come with a lot. Come with a lot of good, come with a lot of, I ain't gonna say bad, but pressure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you got, uh, Cause at the end of the day, being a leader, good or bad, they gonna look at you. You know what I'm saying? Hold each other accountable. Who gonna step up and do that? Who gonna who can dedicate themselves right now? And not for me. I don't even I don't want y'all to raise your hands. I want y'all to sit with this in your heart. Who gonna do it because they wanna be legendary? Who gonna step up and be first in every lap? First to every meeting, first to every workout, first in the classroom, first to be vocal, hold each other accountable, sincerely. And sincere, sincere advice is not just in front of everybody, yo, you tripping, bro. Sincere advice is like, yo, bro, let me walk with you at the practice, bro. I say that. And what's up, bro? Yo, I've been noticing, like, Let's work on your technique like this, and I see you need a little bit, a little bit of help here. That's leadership. 
Who gonna do that? Because everybody raised their hand when they said they wanna go to the league. Everybody want raise, everybody raised their hand when they said they wanna get their mom out the hood. And I can tell you this, everybody that's in the league, at some point in time, even if they not a leader in the league or a captain in the league, they was a leader or a captain at some point in time. You wanna know why? Because from little league, I can guarantee y'all 90% of y'all was the best of the best in y'all little league team. The best, they go to high school and they shine. The best of the best in high school, they get the offers and go to college. I see where I'm going with it. The best of the best in college go to the league. And the best of the best of the league, they go to Pro Bowl, Hall of Fame, all that. Who gonna step up and be a leader and respect the opportunity right now? Because if you don't, I'm telling you, you're gonna waste your time. You're gonna waste your time, you might as well just, you might as well just chill. Nah, no, just chill. Don't even, don't even have expectations of getting on the field, going to college, none of that. I know majority of y'all came to MOTEP when y'all was, I gotta go to the tech. They getting the offers. They come with smoke. You want an offer? They come with smoke. Who ready for the smoke? Who gonna step up? That's a chance for all y'all. I don't gotta answer it. I don't gotta say I'm gonna do it. it ain't gonna mean nothing. I'm gonna know. When I look up, me and Dad, we in contact. Coach Kelly, that was one of my first coaches also. You know what I'm saying? Coach Dane, one of my first coaches also. He gave my first, you mean, my first starting position. I play outside linebacker. Coach Dane is my coach. Listen, man. Respect the opportunity. Respect the opportunity. Respect the fact that it's not about you. What y'all should be thinking about right now, y'all should be thinking about people that's not even here right now. I ain't gonna tell you raising hey, y'all want kids. Y'all probably, y'all probably ain't th really thinking about that yet. But nine times out of ten, y'all gonna have kids. <laughs> sure, sure, no. Nine times out of ten, you going. Nah, we got kids. <laughs> Keep thinking about it. You did. It's a couple of them. Listen, man. It's the, it's the reality, though. This the reality. This life, all football to the side. This, this stuff that happened. You know what I'm saying? I was always the one man. I ain't having no kid. I ain't having no kid. One day just click, man. I gotta leave my legacy out this joint. You know what I'm saying? I wanna leave my legacy out this joint. I should be thinking about people that's not even here yet. Yo, lineage. When it's all said and done, what you want them to say about y'all? Forget what they saying right now. It don't matter what they saying right now. You know what I'm saying? We went down. Me and my camera, he went to Chicago in December. We went down Oak Block. Y'all probably seen it. Went viral. Ran to Mother Duke and all that. Cooking us in the comments. Cooking us in the comments. Not about what they saying right now. Come on, during the moment, wasn't none of us scared. Ain't nobody run. Majority of niggas that's in the comments talking, niggas would have ran. Probably never would have went in O Block at two in the morning. And I ain't saying this to say it's throw puff my chest out. It's just understanding. Forget what they saying right now. Understand who you is. Understand what you want. Understand your purpose. A lot of people get lost because they don't understand their purpose out this joint. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Answer that question for yourself. But y'all go home. I want y'all, I want y'all, the leaders practice. I want y'all to go home. Y'all got some homework. Y'all got some homework. Homework. Hey, Dad, what's the standard? That's the standard. That's the standard, right? You ain't saying you loud enough, bro. That's the standard. That's the standard. Let me hear y'all say it. Let me hear y'all say it. What's the standard? That's the standard. Y'all ain't loud enough. What's the standard? That's the standard. So y'all got homework. Y'all got homework. I need y'all to go home. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. If you serious, you serious, you really trying to get your mom out of the hood. I need you to go home, take some time, sit with yourself, put the phone down, put that drone, do not disturb. Turn the game off, turn the TV off. I need y'all to sit with y'all thoughts. I need y'all to sit with y'all thoughts.
I need y'all to write down goals, three goals that y'all got for yourself by graduation. Three goals that y'all got for yourself by graduation. Three goals that y'all got for yourself. On top of that, and the importance of that is, this is how we hold ourselves accountable. We gotta see it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta see. I do marketing and branding. I write down PO, look, we're gonna take the money, we're gonna do this, bop, 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 make it look like that. They can see the whole joint before it even happens. It's important in life. We gotta plan. You know what I'm saying? Three goals that y'all got for yourself by graduation. Next drum. I need y'all to write down five things. Five things. Five purposes that y'all getting up every day for. What's your purpose? Why are you even playing football? Why are you even going to school? Why even breathe? This is why niggas crash out. They don't even know why they doing the stuff that they doing. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? Five people. I mean, five purposes. Then I want y'all to look up three people that y'all want to study. That y'all want to study. That excel in whatever way of life, whatever position. They don't got to necessarily be sports. You can just like a person mindset. Three people that you're going to study and take to. Three people that you're going to study and take to. So again, we got three goals by graduation. Yo, can you text them in the chat so you remember? I'll put them in the chat. <laughs> three goals by graduation. Five purposes. Five purposes. Because if our purpose ain't deep enough, them times where we don't feel like going, we're going to get selfish. Want to know why? Because it ain't. we making it about us. We ain't even thinking about the fact that it ain't about us. That's why we got to have a purpose. And I don't feel like doing it. I got to look at my young boy and be like, it ain't about me, man. Come on. It's another day we got muscle. Come on. Five purposes. The money you're doing, I want to get rich. Be honest with yourself. Then I want to leave a legacy. Be honest with yourself. Then I'm doing it just to be cool. Be honest with yourself. Honesty is an important factor. And the last one, three role models. That's the word, three role models. In whatever way, whatever walk of life, don't necessarily have to be sports. Three role models you want to learn from. This is priceless game. Priceless game. Like I said, who gonna step up? Y'all young. Y'all young. Who gonna step up and be a leader? Again, what's the standard? What's the standard? I don't think they ready. <laughs> I don't think they ready. Y'all looking bad. We on camera. This is gonna be on the ground. <laughs> this joint might hit no guns on. You feel me? What's the standard? That's the standard. What's the standard? That's the standard. What's the standard? That's the standard. Start repeat after me. If not me, then who? If not me, then who? One more time. If not me, then who? If not me, then who? If not now, then when? If not now, then who? If not me, then who? If not now, then when? One more time. If not me, then who? If not me, then who? If not now, then when? If not now, then when? That's We want you to do a good season, man. I want you to have a great season. I want you to have a great season, man. Have a great, great season, man. Y'all got to understand, man. Y'all, y'all, this is legendary. You know what I'm saying? I grew up right at the corner with a 21st of Madeira, right at the sign. The white crib with the inside porch. That's my neighborhood. That's my childhood crib. I remember before this was even born, it was just the trailers. I remember seeing it. It's a hell of a legacy behind the school, man. Respect it, man. Respect the opportunity. Rather y'all go to college or y'all don't take the heed to the lessons. You know what I'm saying? Take heed to the lesson. I'm telling y'all, outside of this room, y'all circle is important. You know what I'm saying? If niggas ain't talking about what they want to do after high school, like pay attention to niggas' conversation. This is how you really figure out what people is. You got to really sit back, be quiet, and listen sometimes. Stop texting in a group chat and just look at what people are talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you, it's a saying that if you show me your friends, I can show you your future. 
We on the closest lifespan of our five closest people around us. Niggas not talking about what they want to do at the high school. Tell me, y'all. I don't follow everybody on my gram twice. Was literally following nobody for a minute. You wanna know why? So I'm like, man, these boys, they still post like me in high school. What is they even? I don't wanna see this stuff no more. I gotta go, I gotta get away from y'all. And understand, it's not about cutting people off. It's not about cutting people off. It's not about that. It's about understanding that I can't spend that type of time with you no more. My time is too viable. How many hours we got in a day? Y'all all wrong. We got 12 hours in the day and 12 hours in the night. See, just that right there, they make us think that we got more time than we do. So when we understand we only got 12 hours in a day, we should be that much more serious about the places we go, things we 